this is Chef Dave Bishop from the Chef to You. Today I'd like to show you how to make some corn on the cob. We're going to make two different styles today. We'll make a grilled corn on the cob and just stand and boiled corn on the cob. First take a look at uh, the corn we're going to put on the grill. Uh, what I've done, I've already pulled the husk back and got the silk off of this one right here. What I'm going to do is bring it back up. I want to wrap that corn back up in the husk so it's not exposed at all. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in this water right here. I'm going to show you how I did that. Just pull the husk back. You want to keep it as whole as possible. You don't want to tear it off. Bring it down where you can get the silk off. Get all your silk off of there. While I'm pulling the silk off, let me just mention it. The reason we're soaking this in water is going to be like a steam. Uh, method on the grill, plus we want to get that grilled flavor on this corn in the cob. We don't want to put the corn straight on the grill, exposed to just burn it up and have a real nasty flavor to it. But we got all that silk out of there. Pull that husk back around where it's not being seen. Pull off some of this excess right here and put it in water. Now you can soak this in the water from an hour to 24 hours, any kind of a bucket, as long as the water is clean. Uh, we want to put this on the grill away from the direct flame. Cooks about 45 minutes. We've got a corn soaking for the grilled corn. Let's go ahead and uh, husk this one right here to get the silk off. We're going to cook in boiling water with addition of uh, some salt, some milk, and some butter. All right, get all your silks off. Life can't get any much easier than this. We're going to take this corn on the cob. Get rid of that husk that just fell off. You do not want it over direct heat because it will burn on you. On this small grill I've got, I'm going to put it over here in the corners. What's going to happen is it's going to steam. It's going to take that grill flavor on there and be delicious. Um, you put your steak or whatever you're putting in here, barbecue chicken, you cook that right in the center. About 45 minutes. Um, I know I'm going to put something on here that's only going to take 20 minutes, so I'm going to put my corn on early. I'm going to start out with some boiling water, just enough to cover your corn. This corn didn't do anything to you. There's no need for you to drown it. All right, we're going to add some milk. I add the milk for flavor. You got a milky flavor in your corn. By adding the milk, it kind of gives it a richer flavor. One tablespoon of butter. I got about a teaspoon of salt and just a little bit of black pepper going in here. We're going to place our corn in this boiling water again, just until it's submerged. We're going to put a tight fitting lid on, bring it back to a boil. Then we're going to turn it down to a simmer, 15, 20 minutes at the most, depending on your pot. Then about 20 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and turn them, just to check, make sure they're not cooking too much on one side. And we're going to go ahead and close the lid. Bring our corn out of the pot. Let's drip it just a little bit. See how nice and beautiful yellow that is, nice and tender. We're going to set it right in the corner of this plate right here. Time to take this corn on the cob off. You can smell the roasted corn underneath, and you smell this uh, roasted husk. Let's go ahead and take this off and go to the table. Roasted corn. Let's pull back the uh, husk. See what we got here. See that steam coming off. The corn is nice and soft. Beautiful flavor. All you need is some butter, salt, and pepper, and some good company. This is Chef Dave Bishop, cooking and teaching. Until next time, may God bless.